During my high school years, I had actually worked uh, in the school library when we lost our professional librarian, so I had some kind of entry point into that. And, and I decided to really kind of talk to people within the industry to learn about the different um, sectors you could actually go into and the different ways that they actually got into that sector. Um, people do it different ways. You don't need to go for the degree immediately. It's actually more common to do um, a graduate traineeship in the industry and then go on to do the professional qualification. Uh, I decided to go straight for the degree. Before doing that, last summer, I actually volunteered at the Special Collections Department at the University Library. And that's the kind of area that I'm looking to go into just to gain a bit of extra experience before that as well. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what to say more about the sector itself, um, but the most valuable thing I kind of picked up from that was to be really proactive and actually talking to people in different areas to find out what the job is really like. Uh, for most of my degree, that wasn't something I'd really thought to do. Uh, it seemed a bit daunting and I didn't think people would be terribly interested in having a student bothering them, asking them questions. But actually people were very open, very helpful. Uh, I contacted uh, an old teacher from my high school who was a professional librarian before getting into teaching to get some ideas as to what I should do from that stage on as well. Um, so, yeah, um, I think that's been my step so far. It's been quite a short journey. Um, and the summer after graduation does feel very daunting. Um, what I would say is just kind of relax, take it as it comes. The other thing as well is that kind of really think about your values, where you actually want to be. It sounds um, like such a cliche, but I think a lot of people just throw themselves into any career because they feel they really need a job immediately. Um, and I think it's quite a good idea to think about, am I choosing a career where I actually feel comfortable, I actually feel I'm contributing something and it's something I really want to dedicate the rest of my life to? And to do that, I did have to take a, a bit of a leap into going into the degree without doing the graduate traineeship. But so far, I think it's paid off and I'm really enjoying it. So. Thank you.